Hello. Widgets are elements outside the main content area of a web page, that users can easily add, delete, and move around. A widget might produce a list of all your blog categories, another might be a text box where you can update all your contact information, and yet another could contain the coding your mailing list manager provides for inserting a sign-up form. Widgets are controlled through the appearance by selecting widgets link on the main admin menu. If your interface is not the same with the one in this video, please install Classic Widgets plugin, then, return to this step. Now, the left side of the widgets screen shows the available widgets, and the right side shows the widget areas, that your particular theme has created anywhere on the website. You can see the default theme comes with three widget areas, one each for a left and right sidebar, and one for the footer area of the site. Widgets you see on the left are some of the default ones that come with WordPress, but the list on your site will vary depending on your theme, and what plugins you have installed. And for this theme, a number of the WordPress widgets come pre-installed in the primary sidebar area on the right. There are actually two lists of widgets on the left, available and inactive ones. For activating widgets, there are two methods, firstly, dragging and dropping into a widget area, and secondly, using the Add Widget button when you click a widget. Dragging and dropping a widget works well if the widget area you want is already open, and if the two aren't too far apart on the screen. If you have a lot of widgets, dragging a widget all the way up the screen can sometimes be a bit tricky, and if the widget area is not open, it can be frustrating. That's why the fairly recently introduced Add Widget button is much handier. The Add Widget button appears along with a list of all possible widget areas, whenever you click a widget in the available widgets area. You simply check the widget area you want, and then click the Add Widget button. You can choose only one widget area at any one time and it's automatically opened, and the widget is inserted and opened, ready for you to configure. There is no save button for the widget screen, each widget has its own. After you place a widget into a widget area, you must click that save button to fully activate it. Even widgets, that have no user configurable settings, usually have to be saved when you first place them in a widget area. Whenever you make changes to the widget, you also need to save it. When you move widgets within the widget area or if you remove them, there is nothing to save. WordPress automatically records the action. Saving a widget does not close it. You have to click the highlighted close link, which is probably handiest because it's next to save, or you can click the highlighted widget header area and toggle it closed. You can open and close the widget areas only by clicking the header area. When you finish editing, you can click close, or click the down arrow at the right of the widget header bar. You can also close or open the entire primary widget area by using the down arrow on its header. Reordering widgets within or moving them between widget areas is as simple as dragging and dropping. Click and drag from the header area of the widget. If the widget is currently open, it automatically closes. As you drag, an outline of the box appears. As you move the widget, the outline moves to where the widget would next be placed, so you can easily see if you're targeting the correct spot. Removing or deactivating widgets is as easy as dragging them from the right side back to the left, they instantly disappear from the widget area. Instead of dragging, you can also click delete if the widget is open. In either case, there's nothing for you to save after making the deletion, WordPress automatically records the change. However, you need to think carefully about where you drag a widget when removing it from a widget area. If you drag a widget to the available box, it loses all its settings and text. If you drag a widget to the inactive box, it keeps all its settings. This is handy, 